what's going on everybody it's charles here from figuring it out how's everything going i know it's been a while since i've done a video uh just been kind of busy had some projects come up and some other things that i've been uh trying to take care of to help uh my family for the future so yeah well today i want to talk about uh filament dryers um for the time being i have been been printing with just plf plf plus matte you know all the way up to some tpu and I needed to get a filament dryer because once you put your filament out, it gets exposed, could be brittle, all that. So I got the Sunlu S4, um, which was out for the time. I got it about a year ago, and this thing will heat up all the way up to 70 degrees. Well, what I started running into is I have now started to begin to print with carbon infused and other type of infused filament that needs to be kept warm higher than 70 degrees. So what was next for that? Well, Sunlu once again helped me out and they created the Sunlu Filler Dryer E2. This is the S4, this is the E2. The S4 is specifically for TPU all the way down to PLA. This bad boy here now is for engineered materials and infused materials. Meaning this bad boy now will eat all the way up to 110. When I need about 90 degrees for the carbon infused uh, that I am doing now as well, as a lot of you know, there's annealing that can be done on these parts. This also has an automatic built-in annealing and comes with a kneeling tray. Uh, there's pros and cons to annealing, but still to have that benefit in a dryer in itself is great. So, yeah, I wanted to open this up real quick and do a video and show you guys, you know, what I picked up. So let's get into it. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this thing open. And it's probably going to kind of look just like the S4, if I'm not mistaken, a little bit smaller. Seems a little bit heavier than the S4, but I tell you what, Sunlu does a great job packing. Here you go before I even take it off. Oh, there's the packing material right there. It's a nice thick material. You can see it's got walls, so it's very well protected in there. And then I like to grab by the plastic bag and bring it out. Inside your box, nothing else. Set that to the side, and then we'll go into opening it. And almost kind of like the same, this is one of those boxes you can also uh, print out of. And that's the reason I got it. Uh, was running some prints the other day and started noticing some signs that my uh, carbon fiber infused was, was starting to gain moisture. And um, the 70 degrees did a great job, but it just wasn't holding, especially if I want to do extended long uh, prints. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check this thing out. Um, it's got all this nice, wonderful plastic on it. Go ahead and check it out. And like I said, they are not playing around. Max 110 degrees. Right here. So, yeah. Let's get into it. All right. Let's see how this thing opens. Oh, this one opens like so. And then all your internal parts are here. Like I said, here's the annealing tray that comes to anneal your, your products on, which is awesome. That, that's something that, you know, you always need the PTFE2, which is great. You got small ones. Here's your plug. But here's what's neat. When I was even dealing with that 70-degree S4, I needed some gloves sometimes. Uh, taking the uh, filament from, I've been using one of my X1s as a heater, and I actually wanted to use a dryer heater box instead of using the X1 because for 12 hours, the X1's down and I can't even print on it. So that's another reason why I got it. But they're letting you know they sent you heat-resistant gloves. So here's your instructions and to-do list. So this can hold up to two one kilograms, two two kilograms, and one three kilogram roll. And like I said, this is definitely needed. Um, I'll be setting it up here in a little while and printing with it. And I may even uh, send some more videos uh, along about that. But once again, this is my brand new addition to my 3D print lab here at Figure It Out. 
All right, everybody, I hope you have a great week and enjoy your time. I hope everything's going the way you want, and have a great one. See you guys till next time.